Welcome back to another video. Today we have the Quinn screwdriver is the 10 and one screwdriver um, from Harper Freight. You got item number 56344. It says comfort grip, 10 and one multi-bit screwdriver, slotted 1 4 3 16 Phillips, number one, number two. Uh, don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing so we can buy more tools like this So help out the channel by subscribing hitting the like hitting the bell icon. Uh, we got nut driver uh, 3 8 5 16 uh, Star t10 t15 So we got several different bits here. Um, we got slotted Phillips star uh, square and nut drivers uh, so pretty much all kinds of you know just different uh, types the square we do have the s1 and s2 so uh, on the back uh, it says comfort grip handle chrome plated finish durable crv steel bits uh, bits conveniently square or store my bad inside the shaft or handle made in china pretty simple and then we could just and then we could just pull this out probably so pretty simple uh, let's just pull it out and you can save that we'll just set it aside there uh, we got pretty much a nice sc thick screwdriver um, this is all rubber really good uh, grip here you can just uh, grip it with your hand you get a lot of grip with this uh, screwdriver all oh, this is rubber really good gr grip actually you can see the texture uh, pretty nice texture there. I don't know if you guys could uh, see the texture there. Um, you got Quinn on the side. You got plastic. That's just plastic. Plastic here. Plastic. So all the blue part is plastic. Um, all the black part is rubber. So it feels really good on the hands. I got bigger hands. So this is perfect for me. Because it's it's actually kind of thick. Um, we'll, we can see if we can get some measurements. Alright. So the thick, thickest part. Pretty much I would say it's about there so 1.53 so it's pretty long I mean pretty pretty thick and the the thinnest part is 1.44 it is um, thicker at one point and it is thinner at another um, pretty much the shank here it's pretty thick too so um, shank or this part is uh, 0.52 and the smaller part is 0.47 and obviously this one's really small the tip it's a uh, 0.22 all right long I would say with the tip it's about seven and a half seven and a quarter so I would say seven and a quarter for um, with this tip we got a removable tip you can remove it and it becomes a hex pretty much you guys see it there um and these tips are removable i believe this is oh you got some oil you guys see the oil um this tip is 316s mp1 so you got two different ones 316s on this side p1 on this side so we'll just leave that there and then on this side you got You got uh, P2 on this side, this side, and then this side you got uh, one fourth. So let's see here. And you can use this as a hex too, by the way. The shank. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we got some more, more surprises down here. So that's why this is so, so thick because of the. You got um and then here you guys see the inside you got some uh some channels there so you got two different channels so you can uh so this goes in there this this part and um you get extra grip that way you're not gonna breaking this uh tool or anything so all right let's take this out see what's in here you got another measurement there i guess maybe it's the same should be the same is it the same no it's different see this one doesn't fit here this one fits here perfectly 
and this other one does not fit here it'll fit loose so you got two different measurements here you got um, I don't know what's this it doesn't really tell you uh, but yeah you got under measurement there and then you got this is the square this is the square uh, bits you got S1 and S2 I don't know if you guys could see that on the camera sorry it's kinda I know it's kinda blurry um, but yeah you got square there another square over here S1 S2 that doesn't go there and obviously you got another hex here so you can use you give this a multiple uses um, obviously all right so um, then you got another you got uh, it's backwards you got T15 and T10 I don't know if you guys can see that there I'm gonna see if I can put this on the other one side see if it'll fit yeah if it's if it's fine like I said this one's gonna be your star type of uh, bits you guys see it there All right, we're gonna put this back. We're gonna give this. Um, I already got oil on my on my fingers from from these because they do come with oil. So I guess for the rust. And like I said, to put this back, just line up the channels with this, and uh, as you guys see there, it'll just fit into place, and then just snap it right in. Pretty much uh, good to go there. Uh, we're gonna try the number two. Is this number two? Let me see if this is number two. So this is P1. Uh, number two is this one. It should be number two. Yeah. P2. That's backwards, buddy. So we're going to use number two. We got uh, some wood here. Some screwdrivers already driven in. I'm going to see if I can drive in a, a screwdriver in there just by itself. Um, let's see here. I got a drywall and I got I'm just gonna use a regular screw dry, regular screw just like this. So I'm just gonna put it in here. Um, I'm gonna put pressure on it and then just turn. Hopefully we can get it in there. Yeah. Wow, this this has a lot of grip. I don't even have to put a lot of grip on this on this thing. And I got oil. So um yeah. It, this this thing has a lot of grip. I'm not even I'm not even pushing it down. I'm just turning So Look at all the grip this thing has You can even put it backwards um, I'll take one of these out and um, And and uh, see if it's magnetic, but with the other ones, but I'm just gonna put this uh, screw here All the way in just manually like I said, I'm not putting a lot of strength. I'm just putting strength to turn it. I'm not putting strength to uh, put it down. And if I could do it like this, anybody can. Just gonna make sure I don't go over to my desk here. Um, I'm actually surprised how much grip you get on this thing. Let's see if it lost the grip, no? It's actually pretty good. Let's keep going. Oh, this is gonna become this is good for smaller screws once you get to the bottom something like this it's, it's it becomes harder I'd rather use an impact wrench but you know you know how it is I'm just I'm doing this for you guys all right so um yeah let, let's see if we lost some grip no we're still doing good on the grip so all right it started to slip Cause I'm not I'm not putting any down pressure now I'm putting a little bit more all right so it seems like it's all, all the way down all right oh, it's slipping a little bit okay it's slipping because it's it's pretty much all the way in already um we did not get any damage here as you guys see um from the tip so Looks like no damage. Um, yeah, that's pretty much very simple. 
It's just a screwdriver. Uh, definitely recommend this to anybody that doesn't have any tools. Or um, if you want to have a, something like this in the truck, just to have all these different type of tools or bits in your truck. This is a very inexpensive screwdriver. Even the other um, Quinn brand screwdrivers are very inexpensive. Definitely recommend those for you. Uh, like I said, DIYs, if you're a professional, you want to keep something in the truck. Or you want to take something to the junkyard. Um, definitely recommend these screwdrivers. Fairly inexpensive and they are great. So, yep, that's it for today. Um, just a quick tool video for a screwdriver don't forget to help out, help out the channel by subscribing hitting the like hitting the bell icon so we can buy more tools like this make more tool review videos um and we'll see you guys on the next one thank you for watching